Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial So today we're gonna make a fighting game Okay, so the first thing you do is just delete the cat And then we're gonna make the main character or player Okay, so I guess this is just a player You can make the player anything you want but yeah This will be the player Okay, and then we're gonna make we're gonna give him a weapon maybe like a sword a sword okay so yeah let's make a sword model okay there you go okay just a some just a simple sword nothing much okay delete that uh, oops, yeah, okay. That looks like a dag, not a sword. Okay, and um, this will just make a middle part. And there you go, you got yourself a sword. Okay, so the sword. First, we need to make the character move. So, oh, also, we need to make like an area for the player to move on. So let's make a ground. Okay, so the ground will just be grass. Or it could just be, you know, like um, this colored because I don't know why it looks it looks nice. Okay, so let's name it ground. So the player Okay, so when the player spawn, it will go to zero zero, basically the middle part of everything. And zero zero is like over, over here. Okay, so forever. So we're gonna make the movement. Mm. So mm. if key D is pressed, then change X by five by six. Okay. Then if pressing A, then change it by 6. And also, we're gonna make a gravity. Okay, so yeah. So this, forever. That is to change X by gravity. So yeah, set gravity to zero. And forever change gravity by minus two. Oh god, oh god. No 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 no. That's the wrong one. I meant it change y. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh Okay, so as you see, it works, maybe, kind of work. Okay, so let's also make another script. This. So if, if key space is pressed, then change gravity by five. Actually, Set gravity to 5. Okay, and also if touching ground, if it's touching ground, then set, gr then set gravity to 0. Oh. Okay, say there you go. You see, we have a like a little jump. Let's make it 20. Let's see. Okay, as you see, we have a basic jumping thingy. Yeah, very weird. Kind of laggy. Might have to close something. Um, yeah, okay. So it's kind of laggy, but no, it's not laggy. It's just I open too many 
tabs or something. Okay, so let's just continue. So wait, uh, yeah. Now let's make the script for this one. So forever. This. So if. Okay, so it's gonna go to player. Yeah. Oh yeah, and let's. And okay. Actually, the sword is like gonna point over here, just like this. Okay. So to player another one forever if if key F is pressed. Okay, so we're gonna make an attack. So this is just idle, and then we're gonna make attack one. So he basically just slashed the sword. Okay. Like this. Okay. Okay, so let's make like an attack effect. Maybe blue. Oops, okay. So yeah, the, here it is. So it will look like he's slashing something. This is attack one. Oopsies, okay. So yeah, that's one. That's two. And then this, and then go up again. Uh, so it can stop here. Then just goes up. Okay, so it's gonna change. Is it custom to attack one? Attack two, attack three, and attack four. So we'll wait for zero five seconds. Oops. Okay. This, and then switch to the idle costume. So yeah, let's see, as you see it's kind of like slashing, yeah pretty weird, so yeah, that's the slashing animation. Let's make, okay so let, now let, we're gonna make the facing, okay, so this is going to point point in direct oh yeah, okay so this point in direction 90 degree and this is minus 90 and this is going to set rotation left right and this is also in point in direction this direction of player so yeah it kind of does this so yeah the sword is just a slashing like thing so let's give it a cooldown maybe like a second okay or zero five seconds Actually, 0 0.2. So yeah, as you see, it's just a sword attack. Actually, it's 0 0.1. Yeah, okay, this is good enough. 
Okay, and we're gonna make the enemy because the enemy is an enemy. So let's make the enemy a cube. Why a cube? Because it makes sense. Okay, so here's just a simple cube. Let's name it enemy. Now first we're gonna mm, give the enemy a script. Okay, so forever. Where is it? Um, over there. Okay, so hide. Forever create a clone of myself. Create a clone of myself. Wait one second. Wait mm -hmm. one to wait zero five to three seconds or oh, to two seconds. Okay. So when I started as a clone, you go to no. Okay, you go to either actually no. You go to this. To that position. Oh wait, this position. Show. And forever. Where is it? Yeah. And uh, forever. Just you know. Point towards player. And. Yeah, move like three steps. Oh god! Oh sh oh no! Okay, so let's give it the rotation, and it should work now. Oh no 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 no! That is not that is not normal. Okay, yeah. Mm, so it's flying apparently, although it's just move. No, so it's gonna change by three. Uh, oh god, it's uh, not quite like I expected, but okay. Okay, so we need to make him like move around the player. How do you do that? It's quite simple. Maybe, maybe, okay, because I don't really know too. Okay, so so if maybe like okay, actually, you know what? Let's just give the enemy wings. Guess why not? The enemy has wings for some reason. So yeah, apparently the enemy flies. Because why not? It's an enemy. Okay, let's make it. Oh god, it looks like a fly. But I mean, I guess. Oh no, I guess that's what he kind of do. So yeah, um, move like. Ten steps. Uh, oh god! Ah, no, no, no! That's so fast. Okay, maybe just two. Okay, you just slash them and they die. So yeah, let's just make that the script for that. Forever. If touching sword, then. Key F. Okay, no. Key F is first, and if touching sword, then delete. Where is it? Delete this clone. Okay, let's test this up. Boom. So yeah, they die. Duh. So yeah, I guess. 
so i'm gonna split this to two parts wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and see you later in part two